both from British show. Right now, everything's happening for British boxing. It'd be a fantastic fight, and I fingers crossed that the fight happens. What would have happened if Johnny Nelson had fought Marco Hook I'm back in the day? All right, then. right. What would have happened? Well, well, I'm going to tell you. If Johnny Nelson, I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. If Johnny Nelson had fought Marco Hook at the time when he thought he was going to fight him, Johnny Nelson is like nearly 50 years old, right? So you know it's I mean? really a shit. Shit. No. <laughs> so no, but it's the truth though. Johnny <laughs> Nelson is like 50 years old. And you gotta you gotta leave things to Jesus, man. So no, Why would I, you say that? No, I'm just being real. Johnny, Johnny, Marco Huck at that time, you'd have been out for seven seven and odd years. I'd have, I'd have snapped that that big chunky bully fool. Look at what happened to him. I told you what happened to him. He's just a bully. He never boxed out of Germany. First time he did he got his ass bus. And that's what I told you. I've never lost in Germany. Three times I boxed there. I'm the only British fighter to do such things. You're a damn fool. Right. A damn fool. Okay, but um, I just got to be real. If Johnny Nelson had fought Marco Huck at the time, then Johnny Nelson would have lost. But Johnny Nelson in his heyday would have easily handily played with somebody like Marco Huck. He had the perfect style for someone from the Winkerbank gym where Johnny Nelson could just hit you at long range, spin you, uh, throw in fast combination, fast flows. Johnny Nelson would have handily beat him. Okay. I wasn't really interested to know if Johnny would beat Marco Huck, but he was standing behind you, so it was quite relevant. Especially if you hadn't noticed it was behind you, but you did. I didn't. I didn't notice it. Let's talk about British beef, finally. Yes. Um, this has turned into quite a... Well, unexpectedly, in a, in a way, it's turned into quite a, uh, an event, hopefully, it, on Saturday it, night. It has, what they done, about 9,000 tickets or something for two relatively inexperienced novices. That's fantastic. And that also shows you that us being, being, being Brits, we like rivalries. Do you understand? And it's a rivalry that spilled over and people thought, right, we want to get on the back of this and they have got off of the back of this and it will be a very, very good fight. Seriously, really good fight. Are you sitting on the fence with this one? No, I'm not sitting on the fence. Well, not deliberately sitting on the fence because I'm, I'm being real. Isaac Chamberlain is meant to play with Lawrence Ocoli because I can't look at it and I know both guys really well. So I can't look at it and say, well, what does Lawrence bring to the table? And what does Isaac bring to the table? Isaac brings a far more better punch repertoire. He's got better punch dexterity. He's got better movement. Lawrence O'Coley looks awkward how he stands, right? So I would have to say, like, of something like this, then you'd, you'd favour Isaac Chamberlain. But, right, but, and you've got to be real, but when you're dealing with a man who has punching power like Lawrence O'Coley, I see Lawrence O'Coley knock out some guy who hit him with a forearm. That's, that's, that means that you've got some serious voodoo, witchcraft, juju working <laughs> on you. You're just dealing with the thing. That's what makes this fight so interesting. But I know Johnny Nelson, hardcore um, Isaac Chamberlain supporter because they've got the same trainer. And that's stupid. So you're both back in Chamberlain? No, no, no. I'm not back in Chamberlain because I actually don't know. Because I think like, Chamberlain could be out boxing him. And so so when I, I, when my not, first thing I said to you was sitting on the fence. You went, no, I'm, I'm not, not sitting, sitting on the fence because I'm telling you, I'm being realistic. I actually do not know. I think it's going to be the one that handles the spotlight better. That's going to come out and, and prevail. Johnny, that is, that's what I'm going You've been on the phone you know, to Isaac for 40 uh, minutes. You know what? Yeah, 40 minutes. I know, we're, we're supposed to be impartial, right? But if you ask your opinion, your opinion, you've got to give it. Who will? You've got splinters right well, behind I haven't got, I haven't got I'm telling you, I, I'm, I, I, the only reason why I'm going with Isaac because I understand his path, I understand his story, I understand how he's got there. And, and Where's he got to? Uh, what do you mean? What do you say? You understand his path? Yeah, we're going. What's he done? You're trying to match me up in this No, no, no. I'm going to destroy you on that. Don't worry about that. Destroy me. Wait, let me just say this. Let me tell you this. Johnny Nelson. Johnny Nelson can't pick. Johnny Nelson can't pick fights. I wouldn't even have. I wouldn't even have Johnny Nelson pick me a bunch of flowers. Is that rubbish? So come on, man. Let's be real here. <laughs> you know, you know what? I mean? what? Johnny Nelson you know can only kill people. Oh, oh, I don't think you get involved in this. Yeah? I was draw champion for seven and a half years. Oh, you know what I mean? I had fourteen defenses and one draw. Yeah, we all know that. You understand? But I also did watch Johnny Nelson in 1989 when he bored the life out of people when he fought Carlos Leon. I, I, I don't want to offend people. Johnny Nelson's a millionaire. I don't want to offend Johnny people. Johnny Nelson's a millionaire. You know why he's a millionaire? People, because this he's boy's got Tourette's. So right. just ignore <laughs> him. I don't usually get Johnny involved Nelson. in other people's I'll, I'll, beef, I'll, I'll, but he has got a point. Right. Wait, wait, what's right. the point? About right. stuff. What's right. the point? Johnny, about you picking fights. I'm, I'm, right, exactly. I'm keeping the powder dry. Johnny, Johnny, I'm going to destroy you in that thing. Oh, come on, man. Don't want to die to me, yeah? Come on, man. I don't. Let me tell you this. Like I said to you already, Johnny, Johnny Nelson, yeah? Can't pick Come nothing. On. Are we working now? Oh, okay. We got work to do. Oh. Yeah, what? Peace two fingers. Let me tell you. iPhone's just blowing up, man. Everywhere we go is just iPhone, iPhone, iPhone. Keep on doing your thing. You and James, I love it. Later. Thank you. Come on, Spencer. <laughs> you keeping that stuff in court? <laughs>